So Candace Owens, ladies and gentlemen, recently went on Fresh and Fit. And I know we've been covering Fresh and Fit a lot. Covered Myron Gaines recently uh, looking unhinged as f Debating that lady. We covered them getting exposed for being pretty blatantly anti-Semitic on the H3 podcast. Now Candace Owens has joined a lot. Uh, because stupidity, it attracts other stupidity. Uh, what about you? Um, you also put, no, you put career first. Yeah, I put career first. Why a career over a man for you? Um, just because... Mike, please. My, my, just because my experience with men hasn't been the best. Um, and the way that I was raised, you don't depend on a man. Because at any time, I'm not comfortable with... You know what I'm saying? Fully depending on a man. Anytime he can tell you to get out of his house, he could tell you anything. So I always want to make sure that I have my own regardless. Like, that's that's first. That makes complete and total sense. That, yes, it gives you a sense of independence, uh, especially because if you are fully reliant on the man, then, yeah, he could just decide one day, you know what, I don't really want you here anymore. Bye. Secondly, he will come first, you know, or he'll come second. Just because I don't care how much money you have. Like, if I truly love you and all that, I don't care how much money you have. Like, that doesn't matter to me. Um, as far as my lifestyle goes, I tell my men everything up front. Like, this is what I do. I'm a dom. I'm a dancer. I'm a sexologist. I'm Can a you mayor. tell me what a sexologist is? I was going to ask. I'm so, very interested. <laughs> yeah. It's burning okay. question inside of me as I was sitting here. <laughs> um, so basically. Thought she was going somewhere else there. The burning thing. Can you tell me what a sexologist is? You know, I have this burning sensation when I pee. I thought maybe you would know. Can you help me? Basically, I will honestly say a sexologist is basically a therapist. If like to really like break it down, because I have to study people, I have to read body language. Um, but honestly, being a sexologist, so to speak, it's just people just talking to people. Like pe like I do lifestyle parties. Um, What's and a, sorry? So. I'm a guy or a girl, mm -hmm. and I call you when I need sex. No, advice on sex? No, no, it could be advice. It could be a way of direction. A lot of people have sexual fantasies, for one. They have sexual things that they want to do with their partner, mm -hmm. whether it's a girlfriend, whether it's a husband, whether it's a wife, whatever. But the main thing that people are afraid of is rejection. So I teach them how to be comfortable with But are you just talking to them or is there touching involved? No, I just talk to them. You yeah. just talk to them. I so people will call you talk. just therapy to talk about sex. In person. In person is more relatable, more personal and mm -hmm. everything like that. Does so, it happen in the club? No. Okay. No, not okay. the club. No. Uh -uh. So, so it's just a therapist that, that a specializes in and, sex. And intimacy. I wouldn't even say sex because it's more than that. It's intimacy. It's seduction. Mm -hmm. It's bringing the spark in your marriage. So you know no hand jobs? <laughs> so what did you say you had a, a degree sorry um, i'm a licensed sexologist so basically it's kind of like yeah, how do you get licensed license. it's basically like becoming a, a real estate agent okay so you just a, get a license a i didn't know there was i honestly had never yeah. heard of this yeah it's okay. basically a two-year course let's you look can it go up it is critical to examine degrees and licenses and also to pursue whether to give person oh whether a given person is certified as a sex therapist or a sexologist to be a real sex expert, it is necessary to hold an advanced degree, a license, and certification as a sexologist and a sex therapist and or sex educator. So yeah, it sounds like it is a real thing. It's like just a therapist that specializes in like, she sounds like what she's saying, like intimacy related stuff, I guess. To anybody, if you want, you can pay for the course mm -hmm. and you just take the course. That's it. Wow. It's so nothing I, super Can I go to DeVry? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um... um but yeah, so that's basically what it is. Like, I just enjoy having people feel comfortable with their sexuality, feeling comfortable with whatever turns them on. It's not just about sex. It's about how you feel, you know. Did so. you grow up with your dad? No, I did not. Okay. No, I didn't. So, you, so but, that, let me some of that. Oh, no. That must be why she's a sex therapist. I thought that girls who, who don't have dads grow up to be hoes and thoughts. I thought that's what they preach. But now she's literally a sex therapist, like an educator. I bet you didn't have a dad, huh? I don't want to need a man transferred a little bit from your no, mom situation. I don't think that. I actually do not think that. Well, you said you were raised. I was raised by my mother. By my she mother, and she said, don't rely on a man. But I'm just saying that sometimes moms can it, transfer their trauma true, true. onto their I children. I do agree. However, I feel like I'm very different because I feel like it's a flaw of mine. I can be very callous. You know, so for me, I don't look at daddy issues. I don't look at like, 
I don't look at shit like that. Like, mm-hmm. just because I was attracted to the erotic world, that has nothing to do with my daddy. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm, I'm not saying um, the erotic world. I just was curious yeah. about your perspective on men, like, full stop. On men, honestly, I, I give everybody a chance until they prove me wrong. Mm-hmm. So, whether it's men, whether it's female, but strictly men, I will say I have not had the best experience with men. You know, mm-hmm. I've only had one situation where I could say the man was incredible. And I ended it, but why'd you um, end it? Just because we had other issues. He had a lot of mommy issues, a lot of codependency issues that I just was not prepared to handle, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and I felt like if I wasn't in love with him anymore, I'm wasting your time. Where mm-hmm. you can meet somebody else that can give you that time, and I, I just wasn't ready. Um, mommy That's issues. Fair. Do yeah. I have mommy issues? No, you have daddy issues. I don't have daddy issues. I oh, never mind. I don't. <laughs> so I guess when you say codependency, I hate the other guy. Like rancid and lazy over here they're two just buffoons and it's so embarrassing you have myron who's like the loud one the obnoxious one who's like hoes don't know shit dude and then you have the other guy who's just literally like the chuckle f- in the corner who's like so uh you have daddy issues right no oh okay he's like the biggest f- sniveling little bitch boy i've ever seen See, etc. Like, does that mean like he want basically, to see you all the time? He want to hang out with you too uh, much? No, basically, the oh. things that he was not getting from his mother, he was looking for me to do. Such as? But with men, have to realize I'm not your mother. Like, <laughs> what did he want you to do? I, what were the duties he wanted to do that you had an issue with? Basically, fix his trauma that his mother created, and I just was not, I wasn't ready for that. Explain that. Um. What does that mean? Okay, so I'm a nurturing woman. I am. Okay, uh-huh. so However, uh, if you have a partner. You probably don't want to also feel like you're their therapist 24-7, right? Like, of course, being there for them during times of emotional turmoil and whatnot, giving them advice, helping them, whatever, all that's fair, good, and whatever. But if your job is to what she's making it sound like, mommy them, just taking care of them to that extent, then yeah, you didn't sign up for this. Not to mention, Fresh and Fit literally make this argument because they say, well, girls with daddy issues... What do they have? Baggage and trauma and problems. That's what they all say. Or girls that have a lot of bodies. I don't even know. Maybe it's both. Either way, they say that that lowers a woman's worth, having baggage, having trauma. Now, this woman's saying, well, this guy had a lot of baggage, a lot of trauma, and I just was not cut out to deal with it. And they're what? That's bad. That's weird. Now they're gonna ma- they're gonna make fun of her. They're judging her for it. It's ridiculous. Um. So his mother never told him that he loved her. None, n- like nothing like that. Um. But when it came to like certain views, he kind of expected me to do what his mother would do. And I'm not. I'm not your mom. Even as a fiance, girlfriend, whatever. I'm still not your mom. But like specifically, what would his mother have done? Like, give me one example yeah, of a that's task. That's what I'm trying to get to. Okay. Like, was he like it's, read it's me a story before sleep. bedtime? <laughs> like, Thank put, you. Yeah, yeah. No. Tell me Santa's real. Um, yeah. Okay. So basically, his childhood trauma. He wasn't told that he loved. Like, he wasn't told by his mom that she loved him and, and shit like that. That's I mean, sad. stuff like that. I'm sorry. Um, stuff like that. But it was like his mom was very mean to him. But it's kind of like even though he's looking at me for that nurturing effect, I'm still not your mom. You want that from your mom. I can't give that. So I, I love you saying I love, I love you. you. Yeah, like I can tell you I love you, but I'm not your mom telling you I love you, if that makes sense. Like yeah. it's not the same thing. Like even though I love that man completely, I'm still not your mother saying it. I don't know if that Did he sense. want you to like pretend to be his mom or you just want you to say I love <laughs> no, you? No, not like, <laughs> like, <laughs> not <laughs> not <laughs> like I tell him I love him the whole time. It's so hard to explain. Like, yeah. Watching the conservative like the conservative brain cells try and navigate nuance is one of the most painful endeavors. I'm pretty sure I'd rather hear somebody just take their long, sharp nails and scratch a chalkboard for like twenty minutes before I listen to more of this. Everybody with more than three brain cells can tell that yeah if you have mommy issues and you were never told that you know uh you were loved by your mom well now you're looking to a partner to fulfill those issues and that void that was never fulfilled by a parental figure and i can say i love you and do these things but it will never be the same as your mom and i can't fix you because you also did mention you're callous by the way i don't know if you remember that saying that yeah i can be callous in certain ways but if i love you i'm not callous no it's if i don't like you i can be callous um or i just want your money type did he want more affection that you didn't give him him a lot of affection but the fact that it didn't come from his mother 
that's the type of affection that he was missing that he expected me to bring but i'm not your mom i can't give you that affection i don't know what that so See, it was hard. Like example a hard example you're just saying in general which is the problem i'm not here. saying in general i'm literally saying like okay i'm your wife right i love you as my husband i love you right? well, not me but yeah but mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I'm not your mother yeah. saying I love you. But you're looking at me like I wish you were my mother saying I love you. I'm, I can't be your mom. I can only tell you I love you. So he wanted breast milk, but you gave him <laughs> your milk. I gave him titty milk. I'm not your mom. Got like okay. <laughs> I can't. Tomato, tomatoes. I can't be your mother, basically. <laughs> you're looking for a mothering thing, and I'm yeah. your wife. I'm not your mom. Okay. Interesting. So it's, di it's two different kind of loves, basically. Yeah. Like, there's a difference between a mother do you, loving... Do you, think, do you think that's something that could have just been talked through versus getting rid of a guy that uh, was treating you well? I didn't get rid of him for that. I didn't get rid of him for that. That's the number one thing you, you brought up. up. I mean, that okay, is what you said. so... I know what it is. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> it, it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me guess. He cheated. Huh? No, he didn't. No? Oh, he was damn. actually the first guy that I never had suspicions of him cheating. To this day, he loves me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, mm. But the emotional baggage that he was putting on me, I was, like, not ready for. Okay. I, I really was not ready for. And I was just being honest. Like, I love you, but I'm not ready for you. So you said that you, you were putting your career first also because you had bad yes. experiences with men, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think those bad experiences are directly attributed to your line of profession? Yes. I do. No. Oh. Absolutely. It's accountability. So, so wouldn't it be fair to say that, like, maybe you've just experienced bad men from your workplace? No. Because I wasn't always doing what I was doing. Okay. Um, I do think in some ways I may have, I may be too independent, honestly. Shoot. Because not on purpose, I don't want to emasculate my man ever, and I never will. Okay. Um, But... The way that I was raised, I kind of tell the man, like, I don't need you, but I'm not saying in a sense of, like, you're not shit, basically. Okay. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, I have my own if you decide to leave tomorrow. So, Which is, I actually wanted to cut her because you kind of gave a little face when she said, like, she puts her man first. Yes, so, I don't agree with that. You don't agree that you made a face? No, I don't okay. agree with putting the oh, man first. Oh, you don't agree with no. putting a man first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you elaborate? Yes, I don't agree with putting a man first because when he leave you, then what? What exactly. you gonna have? Exactly. What, what you gonna have? If you put exactly. your all into a man, a man will leave you with shit mm -hmm. and bricks. Can I say shit? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, you good. Yeah. A man will leave you with nothing but shit and a bag. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like you gotta have your own everything. So why would I put a man first? Sorry, when you when say this is my sorry, life? I'm so not oh, cool. No. When you say <laughs> shit, when you say shit and a bag. So this is the kind of person they're looking for. I like how they just moved off the other lady who wasn't really saying like anything that they could really weaponize or or attack. They're just kind of like, okay, she's whatever. But you know, but like, uh, let's move on to someone else. And now this lady's just giving them everything they want. Oh man. Yeah, could you just slow that down for me? I promise Sorry. you, I'm like, I am so not hip. <laughs> um, yeah. When I mean shit in the bag, I mean like your stuff in the bag and you on your way. Mm -hmm. He already got the next girl in yeah, the house. Like, exactly. I don't play those type of games. Okay, exactly. so you guys are specifically talking about, so you're assuming people just don't get married because obviously the court systems favor women. Actually, women will get everything if yeah. a guy no, gets up and I'm leaves. Saying, okay, so, so I heard somebody else say like, oh, like the house and blah, 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 and then you'll have nothing. I'm like, actually... But in the current environment of what happens to men in courtrooms, you'd have pretty much everything. But the man got to want to marry you. These men ain't yeah. getting married. So that's it. You're talking about, so people. you're basically saying, like, you could potentially be with the person that doesn't want to marry you, yes. as, but you should just never be with the person that doesn't want to marry you, was what I would say. Like, if, yes. if you're talking to a guy and he never wants to marry you, then that's a really... That's why I ended my last relationship. I felt yeah. like we were together <clears throat> for too long, and I asked him, like, hey, do you foresee us getting married? Do you see us continuing on? And he was like, no. Mm. Straight up, no, but it's okay. I'm rather he was be honest. Yeah, like, that's yeah. true. Oh. At least he told you. Like, no, no, for real, for real. Not even taking no her by, and I was just My like, okay, oh, hey, baby, baby, I love mm -hmm. you. That's that there's two parts. Two parts. So there's you guys are painting that, a picture though. of not needing a man, but actually it's a circumstance where it's. A, a specific kind of relationship no. where the guy doesn't want to mm -hmm. marry the woman mm -hmm. because, I mean, if a guy said, yes, I do want to marry you, then you wouldn't have this perspective of no, like, I'm putting, not I'm not putting a man first, right? I would never put a man first because even though this is my life, you know what I'm saying? This is but my life. But if you were married, if I was married, I still want to put my husband first. Damn! This is my Wait life. a minute, hold on. Whoa, hold on a second. Okay, so this is how I feel. I feel like... Wait, you do you think that in a partnership, the, the partner should be putting you before themselves? Like... There's a time in which that's good to do, of course, like showing selfless behavior, of course, being selfless, you know, giving up things that maybe you want sometimes for your partner because, you know, they they really like this thing. You don't really care about this movie, but, you know, they really like it. So you're you'll compromise and go see it with them anyway, whatever. That's fine and dandy. But if you're talking about your career. 
then yeah, you should not be expecting someone to to put like you even above every goal they have or every goal they have within their career. Ideally, you should be able to fit into their goals and you should not be at odds with it. You're making it a dichotomy. You're making it like, do you choose me or your career? It could be both. Take care of yourself. How many girls agree with her? Just out of curiosity. How I many halfway agree with her. Okay. Not, Anybody else agree? Okay. Because I just, I, like, I just feel like that could be why he doesn't okay. want to get married, right? If you're saying, like, even if we get married, I'm putting myself first and I'm not putting you first. Mm. If I was a dude and I heard that, like, I would definitely say, okay, then but I'm not going to marry you. it's also about coming together. You know what I'm saying? It's also about a union. And I'm saying, mm -hmm. what I'm saying is there's a lot of people... I'm sorry. There's a lot of people nowadays that doesn't understand what a union is. Well, if you, but I, I would argue potentially that you're that person because you just said if we got married, I would still put me first. That's would he not put a me union. First, though, would, would would a man put his wife first? Yes. Yes. So yes. You always, yes. yes. What I'm saying union. is, yes. I feel like you should always put yourself first. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to a guy, you shouldn't put a guy over yourself. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So I would offer that in a very productive marriage there is no i i versus it's just we like oh, i am yeah. in a partnership a team me and my husband i the concept of putting me first like even saying that just sounds so crazy to me in a marriage mm -hmm. like i don't i've never thought it once it's just it's us it's the kids it's our family mm -hmm. like what I okay there's times when it's okay to prioritize yourself you know in fact it's good if, if you have a partner who doesn't want you to ever do that then you have other issues, my friend. I becomes we. And so I would just say, like, maybe when you when you put that out there to a guy like I, 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 then they say, OK, maybe this isn't marriage material because she's telling me that even if I give her everything and I have the potential, then the risk of losing everything that she still would not make any sacrifices uh, in, you know, in her life. And I, I can agree with what you're saying. I can agree with your statements. But what I'm saying is I haven't came across a traditional man like that as okay. of now. So I'm going to focus on myself. No, that's fine. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to highlight that it, it's a specific kind of man that you're talking about. Yes. If a guy doesn't want to get married, but also fair, if you're saying the same thing, you're attracting that specific kind of a person. Do you know what I mean? If you're like, I'm all about me, me, then he's like, okay, cool. I'm all about me, me too. Can I backpack you know? off that? Just yeah, but like I told my husband like day one, I want to get married. I've been <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I was like, no <laughs> games. It's a we. Yeah. When are we getting married? Mm -hmm. When are we having kids? Right, we, yeah. we, 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 mm -hmm. we. I can, right I can agree with that, but then some people have different uh, goals from other. My yikes. On like day one, you know, like pretty much first date or something, you know, it's like, yeah, we're getting married, okay? And you're going to have my babies. He's literally in the basement chained up right now. <laughs> And then some people have different goals from other. My number one goal is to be a star, not to be married. Okay, mm. fair. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm saying if that might be why you're not getting married. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't care to get yeah, married. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's feeding okay. each other. Okay. I really don't. Yeah, care yeah. To get which is fine. Which a, is fine. Can I, I just a question real quick? Who's your role model in drop game? Onika Tanya Mirage. Yeah. Nicki Minaj. Got it. <laughs> oh, is that her and real role model? Yeah. yeah. Onika. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Tanya Mirage. How many girls actually want to get married on the panel? Real quick. Oh, everybody. <laughs> Are, uh, too oh, late. Everybody? Okay. All right. Just out of curiosity. All right. Um, so for you, you said that um, you're putting career first. Question for you. Do you think after putting career, your career first, being a dancer, being involved in the work that you're mm -hmm. in, that you're going to find your dream man at the end of the line? Yes. Because mm -hmm. my career doesn't define me. Because my career doesn't define me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a completely <laughs> different woman. I can separate <laughs> my business and what I do from... My actual First, personal life. Laughing, right. I was just about to exit. No, something in my throat. Sorry. I was being a sex educator, like a therapist specializing in like intimacy related stuff. How is that going to affect you finding a guy? Again, if you have a man who's that insecure, that you being a sex therapist is he's he's like, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. She might be. She might know more about sex than me. Oh. Then honestly, take that as a good thing that you didn't waste your time on that trash person. Uh -huh. Bless you, Sorry, continue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so Sorry, basically, continue. like how she was saying, like when I do get into a relationship or an engagement, like even with my ex fiance, I told him, I tell everybody what I do up front. Like, look, I do this, that, and the third. Do you want to be a part of it or do you not? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can have the password to my phone. You can anything to make you feel comfortable. And with my engagement, he was like, Well, I don't want you to work. I don't want you to do anything. He had money. He to very good care Damn. of me. He didn't you want me to him, work. I did be like, because it's an emotional thing. I don't care about money. You know what I'm saying? Money is not a focal point for me. Okay. Um, I'd rather be taken care of emotionally, you know, and feel safe. That's my biggest thing. I want to feel safe. If it's, I'm, it's so funny that her relationship literally didn't work out 
because the guy was acting the way that fresh and fit say men should act who cares about women's emotions whatever they're all just hysterical blah 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 you just need lots of money and then this guy shows up tries to throw all the money he has at this pro at this relationship issue and what does it do nothing she's like yeah i'm not really interested in this bye it's just so ironic make you feel safe make me feel safe okay because money can be made spent every day whatever do you think your job at all might be impacting how they value you yes and no mm -hmm. um i say yes because the second you hear oh i'm a sexologist i'm a dancer i'm a whatever i decide to tell you i'm on lifestyles what do you think you think escort or you think she's just another stripper girl type oh. type situation <laughs> No. Yeah, but that's yeah, so I mean, that's honest. It doesn't it's sound honest. like that's I'm what not, she's I'm describing. Not, it's well, honest. Hey, this nigga. Go ahead. Keep, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> that's in, automatically what you think. You know, especially when you see certain girls that are in the lifestyle, being dancers, being escorts, being whatever. That's how they present, and they don't care. Mm -hmm. But me, I have morals. I have values. My my career does not define me. I'm a completely different woman mm. from what I am, from what I work. Me making money has nothing to do with well, the woman that I am. Don't you think that what you're willing to do for work does define your value, though? Like, like you should say, like, these are not my values. I just do mm -hmm. this for work. Like, Absolutely. you know, I prostitute, but these are not my values. I'm I just not, do this for work. Yeah. No, I'm just giving you an example here, right? Yeah. Like, so that make sense. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure that mm -hmm. we can separate that, right? I can. Like, I can. Well, you can, but yeah. I'm saying that I think for men, mm -hmm. and I don't want to speak for men, but no. like oh, no, you're telling worry. them what you're you're telling them what your <laughs> values are yes. when you say mm -hmm. I do this and I do that and I yeah. do this right mm -hmm. like if I'm like they don't think that you're just performing per se I make them because I make them comfortable like I will tell you everything up front I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna hide anything I'm literally gonna show you everything up front if you have any insecurities about what I do these guys are so traumatized they're traumatized by women man literally what I do that's it that's it that's all so that would just so you, we can run your argument to a totally separate mm -hmm. career path like if that would be like me saying I sell crack to children I don't understand she said she's a sexologist is this why are they treating her like she's like an escort <laughs> right <laughs> but i tell you that i sell crack to children so my True. values are in I check because saying. i told you that i sell crack no, to children okay so uh, oh let me also add if i do get into a relationship me telling you up front what i do if you're not comfortable with that i will not do it if no, I, fine. i'm if not I saying value that, like you yeah enough where i'm like okay he's worth it but I'm, um, I'm just saying, how can you separate your values from what you do? Like, given that example I just gave easy. you. It's easy. I can't really explain it. It's just easy. I just don't get lost in that world of being a dancer, being trapped in the erotic world. I don't get lost in it. Like, I'm very, like, headstrong. So it's like, it's literally business. It's kind of like an actor. I can go on Seinfeld and be, or friends or whatever, and be an actor, but it's completely different at home, you know? So it's acting for me, to be honest with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. but I, and that's okay. it. Like... Yeah, so, and then at home, so, I cook, I clean, I so, will do all the things, a mm -hmm. wifely duties, or, you know, and I'm happy. They're happy. So you're basically just, you, in your mind, you're like, I'm just two different people. I am. I definitely am. Sabella and Etienne are two completely different people. Keep it a bean. What? In the club. Huh? In the club? I'm Sabella in the club. Right. At home, And I'm what are Etienne. Sabella's values? Does Sabella smash in Sab the club? No, absolutely not. Absolutely Never not. did. Stop the cap. Yeah. Number Never. one time. Shut up. <laughs> Back room? Nothing? Never. No. Never. Ever. All right, Sabella. Never. We're going to find out whole facts. Go ahead. Go ahead. Make a phone call? Go ahead. In the office? Go ahead. She's she one of them? All right. Call, you want me to call? Oh, oh I, I, y'all took my phone. I would call yeah. the office, but no, um, I've never done anything like that. Ever. Okay. If you're okay with the quality of man that's going to be left for you at the end of the road when you're done with your career have, and you're done prioritizing that. I have dealt with both shitty men and quality men. So it's like I've experienced both. And because of who I am, they understand that, okay, this is her career, this is what she chooses to do to make money, but she's a completely different person with me. It's not airs, it's not fronts, it's not, I'm trying to get your money. I don't understand, like, if she's, I, I guess I just don't understand to the full extent, like, what she does. I guess she's a dancer in a club, maybe? Is she, wait, is she, like, a stripper? Yeah, it's not nothing. Can you remind me how old you are, 27, did you say? I'm 29. 29, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. God and damn. you, how old were you? Shut up, I was 26. 26, <laughs> and you said man first? Yeah, if I have a man, yes. <laughs> yeah, if you can find one, you would put marriage well, first. Well, fine, but I mean... I think that's yes. a little bit, like, the, again, 
there's a line there between like putting somebody first, which is a good quality to have, like showing selfless behavior, but then also being like a total pushover, right? And also like, it, it would be unattractive if someone like w was just completely obsessed with you, their whole life suddenly revolved around just like you, 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 what you want to do, everything about you. You'd be like, hold up. Like, what do you like to do? <laughs> what are your hobbies? You know? So I, I don't think that it should be like, you just give up everything for the man, which is kind of like what Fresh and Fit is sort of sounding like. But a, a cor a, of course, there is a, uh, a boundary there. There's a line there. And there are, of course, times also within relationships where you need to compromise and you need to be willing to put your partner first. None of this is bad. But if you're talking about doing this 20 or, or completely neglecting your own needs all the time, then that's just not a good idea. But yeah, I would like I would put that first. Yeah. What would be a better word than fine? I don't know. I just I just makes me seem like I'm out here in the streets. Just like, <laughs> I was. I don't think there's any shame in wanting to find a man, like to wanting to find a relationship. Like I don't. Yeah, I feel like people. You should yeah. be for you too. Do you guys think that you need to actively find a man, or he's just gonna find you? Just out of curiosity. For me, you can find me. I'm fine. They gotta with find my you. Dog. Okay. I'm fine. I mean, you. I would like a guy to like put in the initial effort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I would. But um, yeah, I don't think I've ever just like gone after, like be the. What's it called? You've never actively seek the, the man. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. But you, have, you have options though, right? You have options like going out, dating stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So just yeah. choose a good one. Well, yeah. So I was I was kind of dating somebody, and then I just found out he like lied about his age. Uh oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn. How old? Like too young? Um, no. He told me he was thirty six, and I just found out he's like fifty. Shit. Oh, oh, he's just like um, really good at like dyeing his beard all the time. He must age what? Oh, dying his beard. Oh my god, what? Well, since I got kicked out of school, so like, if you're at, like, I don't have a, no, I didn't have a dad, but I went to college, I like had a 4.0 and a full ride scholarship, and I was doing really well, but got kicked out for a joke I made, and then I, um, that led me into, you know, the what sex industry. What was the joke, please, what and was the joke? It's just, for me, as a means to an end, it's the only thing I knew what, what I could do to make some money, so. Mm -hmm. And how does that impact, like, I guess, how, your relationship with your mom? Does she know you're on OnlyFans, or no? Uh, well, she does now. Hey, mom. <laughs> oh, wait, are all these girls on OnlyFans, maybe? Is that the thing, then? Okay, maybe that's the thing. Are all these girls just, like, on OnlyFans? Because we didn't start it from the beginning, so... Country, like, they're not going to, like, know what this is, I hope. <laughs> they speak English. They might put it together. My little brothers watch the show, though, so... They do? Know, yeah. Okay, so would you think your mom would be... No, she wouldn't like it, but... Um, she would understand. I, I think she just wants me... As long as I'm in her life and like, was she like your friend growing up? Um, yeah. she was in and out. I have like mommy issues and daddy issues. So mm -hmm. holy. But <laughs> but like now, yeah, I see her more of as a friend. But she's still like, she's very like religious and very like that. So I like I don't talk to her about everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, but I mean, she's. I'm sure she wouldn't be happy about it, and she wants me to like find something better. But. Just doing what I can to, and you feel like you have to do it for financial reasons. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So. Or did you just want fast money? Because I, I feel like you no. could get a job if you were like, I want to be a bartender. Like, I mean, you're young, you're attractive, you're like, you don't. I mean, like, you don't have to do OnlyFans, right? Like, I mean, cause I mean, I don't know. What I was else. broke, crazy yeah. broke, and I, you know, I never sold my body. Like, mm -hmm. you know, so I feel like now people keep saying they have to, but. Like I mean, it's just like, I, just, I want fast money and yeah. I want to be able to pay rent, you know, sort of a thing. I just, it's, yeah, I want to be able to pay rent, mm -hmm. but what else would I do that's going to make me the same amount? And I'm, I don't make... It's not going to make you the same amount. I don't make a lot of money I because I don't, like, do the absolute most. So I make a regular amount and I make enough to get by. And mm -hmm. I don't know even... I don't know. I watched my mom struggle grow up, growing up and I saw her do all the normal jobs and she didn't sell her body and all that. And she, like, struggled a lot. Mm -hmm. So I really just kind of was like, I'm... Will do it almost anything those only fans i don't know then to not end up like that and like literally being homeless and dumpster diving and all that like i would rather yes i would rather do only fans than okay that. so like i think i just have that like that fear you know like and i just i watch my mom do all the regular jobs and yeah so candace in your opinion why do you think women resort to only fans when they have other options 
Well, so the first thing I would say is that I do see this trend. That's why I always ask about whether you grew up with a dad, because usually the answer is no. Um, and I think that that definitely matters. And they do have other options. I think the problem is that when, especially when you're young, you just want fast money. And I don't think they realize that they're making like it's like, yeah, this is money up front, but you are is going to cost you <laughs> when you get older. Like this is like you know it's like doing a deal with the devil right where it's like up front and everything's gonna look great and then you're gonna you know trip over near 30 you know and you're gonna realize the men the options and also by the way when you're on only fans and selling your body like your body's only gonna go in one direction like like you are a stock that is just declining with age right damn so there's gonna be the next 18 year old that wants to put her boobies on the internet um and you're just not going to be able to bring in the money that you could so, you know, it's the youth, you so, know, whatever your opinion is on sex work. OK, fine. But like she's literally saying, like, it's going to be bad because people will judge you for it later on in life. Like, that's literally what she's saying. Like the men, the options, you know, like it's not going to be great. Like it's literally just because because you'll be judged. That's it. They say youth is wasted on the young. And I think that that's very true. I think there's a new environment where also the materialism that's on Instagram makes them want more before they have to work for it. They're just like seeing Kardashians and Jenners out there like spending with their thing and they're like, I just want money and that it's, right. they're being right. raised online and they don't have an example that shows them that like that's just a mirage yeah. and it's gonna come at an, like just a severe cost. So it actually breaks my heart when I see young women doing that because I know what's gonna be on the other side of that, you know, and could I add something to that? Sure. I feel like, um, especially with social media, like a lot of girls put base their worth off of like how fast they can get money with doing the least amount of work. Mm -hmm. And I mean labor work. Mm -hmm. That's, you see this, it on, on- That's called capitalism. God. When she said, can I add something? I wish you wouldn't have. That's capitalism. Everybody's trying to do the least amount of work and make the most amount of money. That's what literally like, people strive for in capitalism in life economically this is oh my god women participating in capitalism everybody it's just the the women the women problem you know all these girls are now now it leaves all these other girls to be like oh like what do i have to do to make that kind of money mm -hmm. without doing a, a lot of work because that would mean like oh i i'm not worth like a lot you mm -hmm. know what i mean so i feel like that's why yeah. only fans are so you know, popular. Yeah. Instagram great, is like reprogramming everybody's brains. Yeah, a great man once said, fast money comes with slow problems. Um, yeah, I mean, Who I, said I that? think that's actually, there you yeah, go. Yeah, I've said I, that. Uh, this is one of my quotes, but if I, I, I rip will, it and say that I made it like it was for me. <laughs> you, say it, sure. call me out. you can say, you can say, I came up with it. Like, yeah. He's still for me. <laughs> he's a liar. <laughs> um, I, I, because I've always kind of found this interesting when girls say that they put men first and then they get into a career field that's going to ostracize them from the very men that they wanted. Right? Well, they don't like, they don't understand how men tick I think yeah that's what's missing is like, like they don't understand that men are super insecure I guess we're animals at the end of the day like yes. it's not going to change what men 100%. want and what women want that's why I always say to women like your biology will catch up with you yeah. <laughs> like you can think you're so smart we can socialize you can do is it. that a threat <laughs> experiments and you know but at the end of the day your body's gonna come online and so I always talk about this book I read by E.O. Wilson which is it's called On Human Nature, and basically his thesis is that at the end of the day, your biology is going to win, and he mm -hmm. starts correlating it to what ha happens in the wild and, you know, what men want, and, like what male species wants and what the female species wants in the wild and how your body actually dictates that, like why it is, you know, that men want a certain type of woman and why it is that women want a certain type of man, like the protection, the hunters, the gatherers, and that's never going to change. And I think that, unfortunately, for these... Then why is it changing? Like, what women want and desire in a man is changing, right? Like, in the olden days, physical strength probably would have been a hell of a lot more important than it is now. Th this is such bizarre biological essentialism, it's actually cringing me out. But there you guys have it. That's Candace Owens on here. I can't take any more. Thank you, Candace, for killing my brain cells. If you want to support the channel, please consider becoming a member today. Members get early access to videos, access to all the stream VODs, and exclusive access to emotes as well. So if you'd like to support the channel, become a member today.